there's probably no better place to deprive yourself of meat than at Branford's Cheese and Restaurant. And that's no bull. We don't use any animal products at all. There's no butter, there's no heavy cream, there's no milk, there's no chicken, there's no fish. So we really try to look at all the ingredients and they, you know, they have to be the most healthy ingredients that we could possibly put on a plate. If you're one of those that equates a vegan diet with starvation, these guys will change your mind with amazingly meat-like dishes such as Reuben's, dim sum, even crab cakes, all made with meat substitutes like tofu and tempeh. Well, what's the difference in taste? Tempeh is more nutty, has a more nutty flavor, mm -hmm. and the tofu is a little blander, and it takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking with. So if you're asking where's the beef, it's right. here it is. Believe it or not, even the desserts are good for you. So we'll use like almond milk or soy milk in, in place of milk or heavy cream. We use like an earth balance type of uh, spread instead of butter. I can't believe it's not cake. Mm. And if you want to indulge while being a little kinder to your liver, try the sake teenies. We're actually using fresh pressed organic juices combined with the sake. There's no chance of a hangover. You don't feel like, you know, the sugar rush that you would. I need cucumbers, celery. It's lettuce, a safe bet that Ami lemon, Beach lemon, and her husband, Mark Shadle, probably ate their veggies when they were kids. Ami's a holistic nutritionist, and Mark, a world-renowned vegan chef. They started the concept last year with a vegan food truck called G-Monkey. They had no intention of opening a full restaurant until they saw this. We saw a restaurant that was already running that had just recently closed, and it was a beautiful location. For Branford, a healthy alternative like G-Zen is just what the doctor ordered. I think for the most part people have so much gratitude and just they're so thankful that we would choose to open such a health conscious oriented restaurant down along the Connecticut shore. They say 90% of their customers aren't even vegetarians, they just love the food. In a world ruled by carnivores, that's really saying something. Jason Hawkins, NBC, Connecticut News.